All right, so for the first time, we've got the Jeep Wrangler in the garage, and we're just doing the basic oil change. And I know I've already got an oil change video on my channel. I did it on the Dodge Charger. Uh, but the oil filter on the Jeep is actually different than most vehicles. So I thought I would do one uh, just because of the different oil filter. On most vehicles, this is your standard oil, oil filter, and it screws on on the bottom of the motor somewhere. That's how most of them are. With this Wrangler, this is actually your oil filter. And it actually gets placed in a compartment on the top of the engine. So just because of this, I figured I'd do a quick oil change on the Jeep. And if you're not sure and you want an oil change video specific on the Jeep, here it is. So these Jeep Wranglers, they all have the V6, I believe it's a 3.6 liter. Uh, Pentstar motor um, The first thing you're gonna want to do to do your oil change is this top part is just a stupid plastic shroud pop it off Throw in the garbage get rid of it. It is useless. So this is the motor obviously and This is what we're working with. So first thing I like to do is I like to remove my oil cap When you're doing oil changes says right on the cap what kind of oil you need in our case 5w20 next thing we're going to do is we're going to crawl underneath the jeep and we're going to drain the oil out of the oil pan uh, the easiest way on the jeep is to actually come uh, behind the front passenger wheel uh, just crawl underneath there and you can get the uh, the plug a lot easier from that way so you're going to want to locate the bottom part of your engine that's your oil pan right there uh, the nut comes off with a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, I broke it loose before I turned the camera on because the camera just wasn't sitting right and it would be easier just to hold it and can't crack it open while holding the camera with the other hand. If you're having issues getting this drain plug off for the first time, uh, just give it a couple taps with the hammer, uh, the wrench, the, <laughs> the wrench I mean, tap the wrench with the hammer a couple times and it will usually break it loose. Uh, most places that do oil changes over tighten these drain plugs, they don't need to be tightened nearly as much as they are. So you're going to let the oil come out and while we're waiting for the oil to drain, we'll go on top deal with the oil filter. Alright so the next step is going to be to loosen the cap off of the housing where the uh, oil filter sits. So in order to do that, you're going to need the 15 16 socket. And apparently two hands to do this. There we go. As I said, in regards to the drain plug as well, I don't know why these oil change places slash dealerships have to put everything so tight, but it's needless. You want this stuff tight, but you don't need it overly tight. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine. So anyways, this will just unscrew. There's your oil filter kind of attached to the lid. So to be honest, I've actually never taken one of these oil filters out. Uh, so as I learned, you're going to want to have a piece of cardboard nearby because there is oil in it. Um, so when you pull it out, just make sure you have a piece of cardboard that you can stick it on. And then all you're gonna do, you're just gonna pull it out. Take your new one. Push back in. And then we're going to reinsert it into the Jeep. So like I said, I've never actually done an oil change on a vehicle with this on. So you're just going to kind of put it in the lid. And it's not going to snap right in. Just kind of hold it and then slide it in. And then once you start tightening it, it it'll it'll all grab itself and 
it'll go in nice and snug like it was when you took it out. So once you've got it back in, you're going to have to kind of push to get it going. Then you just tighten it like you tighten anything else. And there you go. Why the design was changed, I have no idea. Uh, I kind of like the oil filter the way it was underneath because you're down there anyways. Uh, it's just easier. Uh, the way I was explained is this new oil filter has less packaging. It's cheaper to ship, cheaper to make, uh, pretty much like everything in life. So once you're done installing your oil filter, uh, you're going to go ahead and add oil obviously into the Jeep. Making sure that your drain plug is in on the bottom. Uh, make sure you put that back in, otherwise you have oil all over the ground. And I believe the Jeep takes about six quarts of oil. Um, just double check that on Google <laughs> before you do it. Um, worst case scenario, you put too much, just crack the drain plug at the bottom. But um, just to be safe, I usually put about five quarts in. Check my oil levels and add as necessary. So, make sure you put your funnel in. Hold your oil container sideways like this. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure it's not gonna come out the top of the funnel. And that's it. Uh, what type of oil you use, brand name wise, completely up to you. Uh, synthetic or regular oil really makes no sense. I've got most of my vehicles are all high mileage vehicles um, up into the 300,000 kilometers uh, and I've done that on standard oil. Um, the Jeep here we're doing full synthetic just because I want to go longer in between oil changes. I live out of town. I put a lot of mileage on my vehicles so this way I don't have to do my oil changes as much. So that's five quarts. I'll check the oil level. I have another quart, which I'll add because I'm pretty sure it's around six. I honestly, I don't remember, but I bought six, figuring it's six. So uh, that's it. Simple oil change, simple maintenance. Even though it's a brand new vehicle, there is no reason why you can't do your own oil changes. Uh, don't let dealerships bully you about warranty this and that. Keep your receipts for your oil purchases. Uh, write down your odometer and there's no issues with warranties that way uh, so there you have it if this video helped you out give me a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and we'll get more jeep related videos out there for you